Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my quick little ROM review of the Blisspop version 2.2 on my um, on my G2. This particular phone is now my daily driver and you can take a quick little look around it. I've changed the back cover to champagne gold but I think you have seen it already in my ROM review of the West Vector Remix ROM. So yeah, this is my um, second ROM review on this phone. Um, yeah, like I said, I use it as a daily, and you can see that I have customized it a little bit. So I'm running the stock theme right now, but it's only for the review, so you don't uh, get any, so you won't think it's uh, themed already out of the box. Uh, interesting stuff here um, in the about phone section, like I said, 2.2, but the kernel version is not from Cyanogen Mod. Um, it's a little bit different kernel here, or modded, or, or anything like that. Uh, the build type is official, that means it's um, it's kind of a milestone version. Uh, you can you can also download um, some nightlies of this ROM, which are released uh, like every second day or so, and the official versions are released uh, once a week. And yeah, the kernel is a little bit interesting here, but it's really, really fast. I have to say it's super fast, you can see no legs whatsoever. and amazing performance. Um, also multitasking is great on this phone uh, right now. And let's go to the most uh, interesting part of this ROM which is the Bliss Pop interface. Let's begin with the status bar. Of course you can change the battery status like in any other custom ROM, but the um, interesting stuff is here, like the network, uh, ne network activity. Um, uh, right now I'm in flight mode so I won't show you that but um, you can also change colors for network icons and you can also change the color for airplane mode let's say red is great now we have a red icon let's say material green now we have material green um, status bar header you can enable weather, network traffic you can do that. I have enabled it when I have a Wi-Fi and mobile data on. Um, I have incoming um, traffic as a symbol in my status bar. Uh, breathing SMS is cool. Um, breathing miss call. It has like a nice effect in the status bar. I can't show you right now because uh, nobody calls me. <laughs> status bar carrier is also good. good. But I have uh, changed the clock to the left, so that wouldn't make any sense at all if I have it set up like that. A greeting is cool. I can show you that real quick. Bliss logo. If you want to have the Bliss logo in your status bar, you can also go for that, which looks really cool, I think. Uh, greeting. So when you um, unlock your device, um, there's like Hello Droid Cam rooted or so. You can. Uh, enable that. Welcome to Bliss, let's see that. Greeting timeout a little bit more. Then uh, unlock your phone, then unlock it again. Welcome to Bliss, you can see it there and it goes away. Great thing, I like the customization features on this ROM. So you can change the height and navigation button um, dimensions here and also the ring targets. Um, can see it here. Great stuff, great stuff, but I can't show you everything um, unfortunately or this video will be too long for you um, but if you like longer videos you can also post it in the comment section below. Um, I think longer videos are like 10 minutes or more are a little bit too long for a ROM review. I think you guys um, should uh, comment on that if you want longer videos or ROM reviews like 5 to 10 minutes I think it's ideal but um, yeah share your opinion in the comment section let's go for the next thing the clear all button which is right here uh, uh, here bottom right which I think is the best position for it so we have covered that Right now you can change the position of the uh, clear all button in the bliss interface. Let's go 
let's go here, let's go to notification drawer. Of course you can change the tiles and order like in any other um, customer. Vibrate on touch, I like that for my notification targets. So I'm always sure that I've pressed the right button. Let's say flight mode, it vibrates. I can't show you on the camera that vibrates but um, also a nice thing is the detailed Wi-Fi view which comes from uh, Android 5.1 actually when you tap on Wi-Fi you can see that you get a detailed view here um, and it will list you all the available Wi-Fi connections so done that's from 5.1 um, location quick settings it's the same as uh, Wi-Fi for uh, GPS settings in your notification drawer um, without any settings uh, menu here uh, auto close panel upon toggle you know that um, force expand notification you can enable that so it will expand the notification and let's say it will give you uh, some options uh, let's say for a gmail like delete or archive a uh, quick pull down it's um, available like like in any any ROM you, you will download uh, the quick pull down from the right edge of the screen or left or off. Smart pull down is also great when you have no dis dismissible or persistent um, notification. It will uh, directly go to your um, power toggles and Wi-Fi and stuff. Your notification um, toggles. How you call them here? How do you call them? Power toggles? Let's go for power targets. Um, smart control, uh, direct call and dialer, the phone to ear, it's like the Samsung touch with ROMs. Maybe you know it when you're in... Oh, it's a little bit different um, in Samsung ROMs uh, when you're in a conversation like SMS. You can uh, lift your phone to your ear and it will call. And this is for your dialer. Um, and also MMS, nobody uses MMS, so let's go on. <laughs> Heads up display, I've turned it off. I find it annoying. A little bit uh, lock screen options, um, customized weather. Weather is great, you can show weather in the lock screen, I like that. Bottom corner targets, um, you can also customize these. Um, it's not showing that very these very buttons yeah you can change the um, targets there, the lock targets mm. clock widget settings it's from C-Lock um, yeah nothing more to show here power menu is great when you enable screenshot so it comes in handy very often just press screenshot and you don't have to mess around with the weird button combination here which is a volume down and power and often you press uh, volume first and it will not be as sufficient as you would press one one button here like screenshot and it will make screenshot screen record is also available for you guys um, device lockdown setting shortcut don't really need that profile switcher is also good Let's go to power menu and you can change the profile here. Silent and automobile. Um, let's go to gesture anywhere. Don't want to have that, uh, but you know it. You can make a gesture and uh, link an app to that. So very intuitive, but not for me. Animations, you can change all the system animations. Uh, scrolling cache even, so very customizable stuff here, toast animation, fast fade, grow fade center bottom, fast fade, I've uh, shown you that, Honami animation, yeah I like that, let's go for that, list view animation is also available like list view animation, let's go for one actually here, alpha, then go to a list, you can see it's um, first it's translucent the um, the uh, letters and then they fade fade in great effect I love it 
looks really good. So not here, but in all the other all the other um, list views, it's available. So let's go back to um, Bliss interface. App Circle Bar is also available. Right side of the screen, uh, trigger width, you can also go for that. I don't really use these at all, like Pi Control, I don't use, and this this one also, I don't use, I don't like to use them because in some apps and some games uh, you have to be right here with your thumb and then you will trigger it and it, it will mess up everything. <laughs> So uh, go for equalizer for your audio FX settings or go to Viper for Android um, and you can also change stuff here. So when you first boot into this, this ROM and go for Viper for Android access it will ask you to install a driver and some some things. Oh we are now 11 minutes so it's getting a little bit longer than I thought it was. Uh, theme section is also big. Let's try this one. I've shown it to you on my G3. I like to have these um, wallpapers applying. And also, the boot animation of this um, particular ROM, the uh, Bliss Pop ROM, is very great. I have to show you that, and then I will end this video. Let's go for reboot and go for soft reboot. And you can see the boot animation looks amazing. I think it's the best boot animation I have seen so far. Bliss Pop. Great. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.